average 48 hours away. Everything all right on your side? <laughs> yeah, we hope so. Um, we're, we're training tonight, so we're, we're, we'll get together and then see who's fit, who's not fit. But no, um, I mean, I think Carol saw a couple of the boys on Tuesday night. Uh, so hopefully they'll the turn out tonight and uh, we'll have a, a squad to pick from. Always think that you've probably got a little eye on what Adam Marriott's doing, given that he's had all that time out, a little cameo, I suppose, it's yeah. Norman's, didn't he? Do, is that a, a temptation for you or...? No, I think we've got to be careful with Adam. Um, I mean, his pedigree's there, and everyone sees that, what he can do for us. And just to have him back in the squad is, is massive for us. But we've just got to be careful with him uh, because, you know, we don't want to flog him and he re reoccurs his injury. So, uh, no, we're, we're, we're gently uh, bringing him back in. Plenty of games. Mm. We've got seven, I think, this month. So. Yeah. Every, everyone in the squad will get a, get their chance. I guess that's the other thing that you've in that first week. You know, you back out on Tuesday, then Saturday, you've got to yeah. plan ahead. It's not just for one game, is it? No, we've got to manage the squad and we've got to use the squad well. Obviously, we're missing Mike on Saturday yeah. uh, with his suspension, so uh, we're missing a few and obviously big Gashi as well. Yeah. Uh, but I've heard that Gashi's going to be here Saturday, so that, that'd be great to, for the oh, boys wow. to see him, and uh, that'd be a big lift for us. I was going to say, I would imagine the presence of somebody like that. I think you've said several times what a big influence he is around the place. Yeah. That's a nice little bonus, I think. Yeah, to have him in the dressing room and, and, and uh, pass on his experience of being in this league, you know, it's, it's going to work wonders for us. And uh, we'll probably need as much help as we can along the way. So <laughs> I'm glad he's turning up. Your experience in these type of things, though, uh, you know, your, your playing days, your coaching days, Premier League on your CV... What's it like for you? Because some of the players, you, we, we spoke last week about Sonny Carey. Yeah. But you've sort of been here, seen it, done, got the T-shirt. But what's it going to be like for you? Because I'm of the looking, achievement. I'm really looking forward to it. I really am. It's going to be, it's going to test me as well because it's a, a, a really good league uh, with professional football clubs and we're going to stay part-time. So it's going to be a hell of a challenge. But I, I like to have a look at things, you know, on, on the, uh, the tactical side of things and see what we can hopefully try and give Yeovil a problem with uh, and that's you know we've got a good group of players that um, you know listen to instructions and taking instructions really well so uh, I have no qualms in trying to come up with something and, and, and delivering it to the players and, and they'll the work at it so it, it'd be good they are used to you changing it as well during games. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's your way of doing things yeah. and they buy into that don't yeah. they? You know? so. No, they're, they're, they're really open and mm. um, you know they, they they're a good group, very good. I've, I've said it many a time. They're mm. a good group to work with, and they really are. And your additions, you made a, a few. You've got the lads obviously from City. You got a new uh, a keeper, a winger, another winger, a left back who was tremendous yeah. last week. I thought. Yeah. Cameron as well yes. back. So yeah. you, you, you've added pretty well to your your side. Yeah, we have. We're, I mean, the core group stayed the same again um, because I mean they're a good group, and uh, I think we've added a lot of quality around the group mm. now, and. Uh, you know, they'll come in and help the group out and um, that little bit of quality might just see us through. So, You mentioned no Michael, but no Baza as well. Yes. And, yeah. and Mr. Back. I know, I, I know. Yes. So you, it's going to be a lonely old afternoon <laughs> evening for you, isn't it? I know. <laughs> but, um, I mean, that can be the eyes up, up, up in the stands. Sometimes it's good to see that overall. So I've got three people up there now that can give us a good good account at half time and you know and the instructions bring him down because I don't think I think we can call to each other anyway and there's not going to be no one here well, this, this is true uh, do you often have you ever been in the in, in, in the dugout sort of as it were on your own I mean just try to think who'd be with you yeah I know I mean I think a couple of times at Norwich when uh, the manager got suspended I was I was in okay. taking it there but yeah. it's, it's alright it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's you, you're concentrating on the game so much and, and looking at different things that you don't, don't really get yeah. any matter. Um, have you had a chance to, because obviously the, the conditions now that you can't go wandering around everybody else's football grounds, have you had a, a chance to sort of have a look at uh, Yeovil at all or get some info on them? Yeah, we've um, we've got a couple of the games that we've looked at last year's of the um, the playoffs when they were mm. beaten by Barnet. Um but again, it's it's different. They, they might it's hard pre season because they they try different things and different personnel in positions and that. But we just know we're going we're in for a hell of a hard game. It's it's probably one of the hardest ones we could have had. You know, uh, ex football league side only a year out of it, and 
really unlucky for last year for not not to jump back into it. But a uh, good manager, good coaching staff there. So we're up against it, but we're, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge. You've been up against it more than once. I mean, I remember just a little more than a year ago, Geisley away. Yeah. I mean, it might not be an ex-Football League club with a big name, but it was a big challenge for you. And, yeah. and you know, yeah. a, a bad day at the office, but how much you learn from it? Well, this is it. The first few games, the half a dozen games, we'll learn. We'll, mm. we'll learn from it what we can do, what we can't do. And... Uh, like I've said before, the group learns quickly and, and takes a lot of information in. So um, it's going to be hard for us, but it's, it's, it's a learning period, this first couple. And then uh, as long as we learn quickly of what we can and what we can't do, we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. You mentioned that you could talk to the people in the, the stands, the obvious reason, because there are no yeah. fans. I mean, you probably had 3,000 here. I know. Probably even more. I mean, you saw we all saw what happened when 4,000 were here for York. Yeah. Um, how is that going to affect the players? Or do, do they switch off from that mentally? Or I think I think they'll be all right. I, think they're, I mean, the, these games in pre-season, I've seen that. Uh, but there's no getting away from it. Having, having this place packed really drives the drives the team on and we are going to miss it we are going to miss it it will be hard at times but um, we, you know it's the same for both sides and you know so we'll, we'll be going away uh, in the week as well where again it's, it's behind closed doors so it's, it's, it works it's got swings and roundabouts but we're we'll definitely miss the fans here because this would have been a really special day tomorrow uh, sorry Saturday um, you know with a pact and it would been a hell of an atmosphere it really would have been I guess you've just got to go and do your job. Well, that's it. That's it. There's pretty simple, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. They're not here, and we've got to accept it, and then we just get on with the job in hand. Mm. How, how difficult has the the whole COVID scenario made made your job and the and and, and the job of the players as well? Yeah, it's been. Uh, there's been a lot of. I mean, the, the work side of things as well has been hard for them as well, and obviously they're not uh, the part time players, so the money isn't there. For them. Uh, I know a few of them have been furloughed with their, with their work. So it's been a testing time. It really has been mentally as well. It's, it's, and obviously we've lost one, um, Chris Henderson, through, through this period where we just couldn't, couldn't afford to do it anymore. So it's, um, it's a testing time. But I must say we've, we've been in a long, long time for pre-season. And every one of them has turned up. Uh, and of course that's petrol money and... and going away to games as well and car, sh car sharing and they haven't griped once you know they've, they've turned up and give it a real go so uh, you know I'll, I'll just take my hat off to them the pleasure to be around How have you managed to keep them focused because there has been a lot going on in the background with you know with the coronavirus pandemic so how, how have you you know may, made the players maintain their focus Yeah I, I think most of it is once you get on the football field, you forget about a lot of stuff. You know, you're with your mates, and you, you know you get on with it. It's, it's, it's off off the field when you, you know, what it really t takes you. Um, but no, I, I, I must admit the, the the Zoom calls that have taken place and the interaction that we've had as a group has, has, has worked really, really well. And um, they all had a program of work to do during the off season, which they abided to and and, and done, and even had little competitions between themselves so the group has managed themselves really really well and I've I've just been on the outside looking after them as much, <laughs> much as I can but it's they've, they've coped really well through this and it's been six months since you've had a competitive game obviously yeah. you've had one couple of friendlies here how you know how much are you itching to get back now after all this time oh massively massively it's, I was so pleased when uh, they agreed. Well, I don't, I don't even know if they've agreed it yet, but I've, I've heard. But the, when when uh, the word come through that we we're going to kick off, it was it was such a relief. We've been in for ten weeks because uh, initially it was going to start a month ago on the third of September. So to have it put back a month for, and, and try and jiggle things again and get the training right, uh, it's been testing. But like I said before, fair play to the boys. They've, they've kept that focus all the way through and. Uh, now the reward is now of all the hard work that we've done previously because to be in this league uh, is, is a massive achievement, it really is. You've touched on how difficult it's going to be, not not just Saturday but throughout the whole season, but you've got that little added incentive of the TV cameras being here on, on, on Saturday. So do, does that sort of motivate the players a little bit more? I think so. I think the game takes care, care of itself, really. So... 
Uh, it, like I said before, it's a shame that the crowd ain't here, but being on TV and probably having your name across the back of your shirt now is, is a little bit special because, uh, um, you know, you go into that dressing room and you see all the kit hang up on Saturday after Saturday evening now, and it's so... Uh, that's, that that will bring a tingle to the lads. It really will do, and that will take. I think the game will take care of itself because the adrenaline and what it means to the football club is is will be there. Last season, you took took the season in. Well, last two seasons, you've taken it in stages, blocks of five or blocks of yeah. ten. Is that how you you'll carry on again this year? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this year um, we've got analysis and uh, sports sciences on board, so. After the 10, we, we can give them instant feedback now, which would be great. Uh, we haven't had that previously. And I know last year we went in groups, we, we, we split it into groups of 10 uh, and went back, analysed what we got up to and how many goals, where we conceded and that. But I mean, this year we can just give them instant feedback from, you know, from a game. So, um, and the boys like that, the modern day footballer now loves all the stats and, uh, and the data now. So that's something, hope you know, we can give them, and uh, it just shows how far this club's moved on because uh, a couple of years ago <laughs> we were tuning into YouTube trying to find a <laughs> clip of something but uh, now we've got we, we've got it at hands and we've got two good people in that's uh, that's really working really well with the players I mean when you leave here on a, on a on a match day after a match day I think it's fair to say your work never stops no because you, I mean what you'll get now is, is an instant feedback of the game so on the on Saturday night now you, you've got that and because of the turnaround so quickly you've got to study that what we've done wrong what we did what we've done good what can we carry on to the next game and then you're looking at the obviously the opposition in two days time 48 hours time so um, it's a lot of work but I wouldn't change it for the world I really wouldn't it's, how, it's enjoyable how many times do you end up watching the game sometimes if it's a great result I'll watch it all day long <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, 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 I try and, and, and analyse it as quickly as possible and then see the good things and the bad bits and then put it to bed quite quickly and then obviously move on to the next one because there's nothing you can do after the, that whistle blows. But you can, you, can, you can go back and sit with players and show them the good bits and bad bits you know, individually and then collectively as a unit, as a team, we can, we can focus on what we can do and what we can't do. Okay. It's a T for tingle. Will you have a tingle when you get out? Will you? Is there a, a, a bit of excitement for you? Yeah. I'm gonna. I was gonna say long in the tooth, but I thought yes. it'd be an insult. <laughs> but um, you'll have that excitement. Yes. Yeah. Um, I never forget when we went, we come to Norwich and they sing the song uh, at the start, and that brings goosebumps and you know hairs on the back of your necks. And every time I hear it, it does. And it'll be the same on Saturday. You walk out there, even though the crowd's not there. To be at the level that we are and with the group of players that we've got is, is you know, brings excitement to me as well, even though I'm an old fogey now. So. <laughs> um, if you are a betting man, you look at the odds and, and you probably have the same thing as a year ago that, that you're, you're going to be down the bottom end. That's what the bookies will yeah. say. That's what a lot of pundits will say. Yeah. What do you think to that? I think they're right. I think when you're looking at us, you look at our budget size and, and, and where we are... Without a ball being kicked, you would you would definitely put us as one of the favourites to go down. But I think we might surprise a few. Mm. I really do. Uh, as long as we're competitive, and that's what I, all I want. All I say to the boys: play with freedom, go and express yourself, and be competitive. And if we can out, we're going to lose games. We're, no doubt, we're going to lose games. But I don't want to lose a game by being outworked. You know, as long as we outwork teams, we'll come against teams that are better than us on the day and you hold your hands up and say they're a good side but to lose to a side that's outworked us and when we're on the same par we, we won't accept that so uh, as long as we, we, we outwork people uh, uh, and, and give ourselves a fighting chance I think we, we'll, we'll catch a couple of teams you, you speak about the work ethic I, I had a chat with Cameron uh, Cameron Kinn earlier and he was saying Halifax they played Yeovil last year and I think Yeovil actually ended their unbeaten record or unbeaten start to the right. season yeah. and he said they were out work so yeah. that is obviously yeah. you know a big big part yeah. of I think if, <laughs> if you look at any league that you're in if you don't concede at restarts corners free kicks and throws where you're organised um, you won't lose many games 
And on the other one, if you, if you outwork the opponent, then you're in games for a long, long time. They might have a star player or a little bit of quality that beats you on the day. Uh, but I always think that if, you, if you're on par w- w- with working them and you outwork them, then I think you're always in a game. Fitness levels, how, how, how do you think the fitness levels are going into the season? Obviously, you're up against full-time teams. Yeah. How, how do you think you're going to fare against... Well, that, this is the thing. I mean, it, you look at past games against when it's a professional club against a non-league club, the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes is, is a big big factor in it. Uh, I hope that our fitness levels are well. It will take us a few games to get used to the pace of things. Uh, and, and, and the style of play that teams play and the, the physicality of it. Um, but I'm, I, what I've seen so far, I'm pleased. I mean, there's a, there's a few that haven't had the, the minutes up there through injuries or coming to us a little bit late. Uh, but we'll be all right. After the, half a dozen games, we're, we're analy- we'll look back and see where we are. You didn't do too bad last year against full-time teams, did you? No, <laughs> no, it was, a good, it was a good test for us. And, uh, and we're going to be up against that most weeks this year. Uh, but like I said before, I have good faith in this team, uh, this group, and uh, you know, I've got a good feeling that they won't let this town down, that's for sure.